Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Friday. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I am Buddy Steele, and this is Plug Talk. Sorry, I got my skateboard with me. I got a new skateboard. I'm going to get back into shredding. Uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Definitely not ready to upload any footage of that just yet. So today, I'm very excited to be sharing my video idea with you. Um, obviously, in the last video, I had mentioned that I should do a video on the most anticipated films that are going to be coming out this year of 2020. I should actually do a video here soon of like the most anticipated movies of 2020 that I'm excited for. That's actually a really good idea. I just thought of that. So I immediately started researching and I've compiled a list of 37 movies starting with Friday, March 6th. Movies that just came out and then all the way throughout the year. I have 37 movies that not only would appeal to me, but would appeal to the masses movies that i thought were worth mentioning that are coming out i'm going to share with you the obviously name of the movie when it drops and a little bit about it so a couple you know little pertinent anecdotes that might help tell the story or who's going to be in it or direct it um, just keep in mind that these dates are never set in stone they are set tentatively and it's almost certain that some of them will change just because of you know production delays editing delays that happens all the time, but, you know, you can expect that movie to come out sometime, you know, in that month or whatever. All right, guys, so it is time to plug in. Let's get it. All right, guys, the most anticipated movies of 2020, according to me. Let's dive right in. So this movie actually opened on March the 6th, Friday, but I thought it was worth mentioning because it appeals to all of my sports fans out there. It is called The Way Back. It stars Ben Affleck as a middle-aged man. He's a former high school basketball all-star who is now in a dark spot in his middle-aged life. He gets an opportunity to coach his old high school basketball team, who has also kind of been struggling for years and years. Uh, it's directed by Gavin O'Connor, who directed The Accountant, so he has a relationship with Ben Affleck. That one opened March 6th. That one looks really, really good. So, Bloodshot. This movie opens March 13th. This is the first installment of film set within the Valiant comic book universe. Vin Diesel plays a man that, along with his wife... Are assassinated. Scientists bring back Vin Diesel's character. He is now a superhero and he is out to avenge his killer. So another comic book universe set to kick off with Bloodshot, March 13th. So you guys remember A Quiet Place, that horror movie with John Krasinski and his wife Emily Blunt? The second one, A Quiet Place Part 2, is coming out on March 20th, my birthday. So, this is obviously a sequel to A Quiet Place from 2018. John Krasinski returns as the director. He also wrote this one as he did the first one. So, on March 27th, this is pretty exciting. The live-action Mulan is coming out. So, the live-action version of Mulan, which obviously is from Walt Disney and based off of the 1998 animated film, there were over a thousand auditions for the role of Mulan with Liu Yifei, winning the role. Sorry if I butchered her name. She's about to be a star. So, April 17th. Okay, we're bumping out about a month. April 17th, The Secret Garden is coming out. They're getting a live action version of this classic, classic British novel. Um, children's novel. I'm really excited about The Secret Garden. I just love all the vibes of it. I think I saw like an animated one when I was a kid. I'm looking forward to that. The Secret Garden opens April 17th. So, April 24th, a week after that, Antebellum. So, this is a horror film from the producer of Get Out and Us, those horror movies directed by Jordan Peele. This one stars Janelle Monet as a successful author who is trapped in a nightmarish reality that she tries to escape. All right, April 24th for Antebellum. Now, you guys are all familiar with the Marvel Universe, 
and Black Widow, played by Scarlett Johansson. So, she is getting her own standalone film. That is coming out May 1st. So, this is Marvel Studios' 24th installment, their 24th movie in the universe. Stars Scarlett Johansson and the Black Widow's um, first film, as I said. Okay, on May 8th, The Personal History of David Copperfield. So, this is the life of David Copperfield from youth to adulthood. Obviously, it's based on the Victorian-era novel by Charles Dickens. Classic story. This one stars Dev Patel. He was in Slumdog Millionaire. He was in Lion with Nicole Kidman a couple years ago. That one's coming out May 8th. On May 15th, some of you guys might be excited about this one. The movie is called Scoob. So, it is a computer animated comedy from the Scooby-Doo franchise. Uh, but this one has a pretty all-star cast, so it's starring Mark Wahlberg, Zac Efron, and Simon Cowell, among others. So Scoob's coming out May 15th. Okay, number 10. On May 22nd is F9, Fast and Furious 9. So this is the ninth and hopefully last, yeah right, film from the Fast and the Furious franchise. I guess they're making 10, that's what they've said. I wish they would have stopped at like 2 or 3. So, John Cena joins the classic gang. It has all the, you know, typical stars in it. Vin Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez, Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris, on and on. Okay, so on June 5th, to kick off the summer, Wonder Woman 1984 comes out. So that is the sequel to the highly successful 2017 film Wonder Woman, starring Gal Gadot. This is the ninth installment for the underachieving DC Universe, as they try to, you know compete with Marvel, which they're not doing so well so far. Okay, at number 12, um, Greyhound. This movie, Greyhound, opens up on June 12th. This is a World War II film starring Tom Hanks, who also actually wrote the screenplay, which kind of, that's what interested me. It's based on the 1955 novel, The Good Shepherd, so it's a World War II war film. Um, that one looked interesting to me. The King of Staten Island. This one comes out June 19th, The King of Staten Island. This is a semi-autobiographical comedy drama about Pete Davidson growing up in Staten Island. Um, so this is kind of his big role right now. Uh, Judd Apatow directing for the first time since uh, Trainwreck, that successful movie he made. All right, guys, June 24th, Top Gun Maverick. Tom Cruise will return as Pete Mitchell in this long-awaited sequel. Also starring Miles Teller and John Hamm, they're going to join the cast, with Val Kilmer returning as well. It's going to be directed by Joseph Kaczynski, who directed Tron Legacy and Oblivion. So he already has history with Tom Cruise. Um, so about a month later, about three weeks later, on July 10th, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm not so excited about this one, but I mentioned it just because it's going to be you know, a big one for a lot of people. This is the third Ghostbuster film, uh, with many of the original cast returning for this one, including Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd. Directed by Jason Reitman, who directed Thank You for Smoking and uh, Juno, which you guys are probably more familiar with. I am very excited for July 17th. July 17th is when Tenet opens. T-E-N-E-T, -E -E Tenet. This is the highly anticipated action thriller Written and directed by Christopher Nolan, you know, who you guys are familiar with, uh, Interstellar, The Prestige, The Dark Knight series, uh, Memento, uh, Dunkirk. His movies are the biggest uh, mind twists ever. Um, I mean, you sit there and try to predict what's going to happen in the movie, you are not going to be able to. Oh, also Inception. I cannot forget about Inception. That was Christopher Nolan as well. So, Tenet comes out July 17th. It's going to star Robert Pattinson, who's going to play the new Batman, um, as well as John David Washington, who is Denzel Washington's son. It's about a secret agent who is tasked with preventing World War III through time travel. Interesting. They're keeping very hush on that plot, as Christopher Nolan is ought to do. So, at number 17, on July 24th, a week after Tenet, Jungle Cruise comes out. I'm actually looking forward to this film, surprisingly. Um, it's an adventure film based off of Disneyland's really famous theme park ride, Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise. It's starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Emily Blunt. If anyone out here knows me, they know that I do not enjoy Dwayne The Rock Johnson movies. 
Like they're just they're just dumb movies typically, and they're not even funny when they're meant to be comedies. You know, The Rock's not going to get nominated for an Oscar anytime soon. But I actually am looking forward to Jungle Cruise for every reason other than The Rock. That comes out July 24th. Also on July 24th is The French Dispatch. This is an ensemble movie uh, by Wes Anderson, who makes those really wild movies, really unique. All-star cast, Bill Murray, Timothy Chalamet, Benicio Del Toro, Owen Wilson, Francis McDormand, among others. It centers around a European publication, um, who I guess is going to write their three most um, compelling articles of the decade. So it kind of opens up a wild plot line there. The 19th one that I wrote down, this one opens up about a month later on August 21st. Bill and Ted, the Bill and Ted, the Keanu Reeves franchise from the 80s and 90s is back. It's called Bill and Ted Face the Music. This is the third movie and sequel of the original franchise with the two main actors returning, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter. Um, in the plot, they are posed with writing a song in only 78 minutes that will save the Earth and the entire universe. So... That's coming out August 21st. Now, on September 25th, another month away, it gets a little bit dry in the fall. On September 25th, The Trial of the Chicago 7. I don't know if you guys are familiar with The Chicago 7. Um, it's based on that true story of the seven men who, in 1969, were charged with conspiracy by the federal government, um, arising from when they were protesting at the 1968 Democratic National Convention in Chicago. So they were wrongly uh, charged with conspiracy. It's starring Sasha Barra Conan and Eddie Redmayne and directed by Aaron Sorkin, who, um, you guys, if you don't know who Aaron Sorkin is, you should. He's one of the best writers that we have in, uh, you know, in filmmaking today. Very, very clever, smart dude. So his works include Moneyball, Steve Jobs, The Social Network, A Few Good Men, and The West Wing. I love The West Wing. So The Trial of the Chicago 7, that comes out September 25th. All right, on October 2nd, Venom 2. So the sequel to the 2018 Marvel superhero film that starred Tom Hardy. He's obviously returning. This one will debut Woody Harrelson, who will play the antagonist Carnage. And that one. So look forward to that on October 2nd. Also on October 2nd is a movie called Bios. This is another one with Tom Hanks. He has a busy year. I have three movies here in 2020 for Tom Hanks. This one is called Bios. It's a science fiction film starring Tom Hanks as an inventor and the last man on earth who builds an android to keep him and his dog company as they walk across the country. So that comes out October 2nd. A week later on October 9th, Death on the Nile. I'm really looking forward to this one. So this is a second film from the series that began with Murder on the Orient Express. Remember that kind of clue mystery whodunit starring Johnny Depp called Murder on the Orient Express? This is the second one and it's going to be very similar, but it's Death on the Nile. And this one stars Gal Gadot and Army Hammer. That one comes out on October 9th. Also on October 9th is The Witches. This one should be cool. This is a new adaptation of the classic fantasy story by Roald Dahl. Um, as a 90s kid, I loved Roald Dahl. This is produced by Guillermo del Toro. Uh, that is of note because he's maybe like one of the best fantastical fantasy um, producers and creators that we have right now. He did Pan's Labyrinth. Um, he did um, the one that won Best Picture a couple years ago. I'm forgetting it and it's going to kill me. It won Best Picture two years ago. Um, it had that thing in the in the tub. It's killing me. Guillermo del Toro is one of the most creative uh, people we have in the industry right now. So I'm really looking forward to The Witches. Um, it's starring Anne Hathaway and Chris Rock. Really looking forward to that. So the 25th one I noted is called Respect. This one also comes out on October 9th. This is the biopic of Aretha Franklin's life. And it's going to be played by Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson actually was handpicked by Aretha Franklin to play her. Which is... Uh, which is, you know, probably for good reason. We'll see. So Respect comes out on October 9th. I love biopics. I love like biographical films where you see the life of someone. I love those. So I'm actually looking forward to watching that one. So a week later on October 16th, Halloween Kills. This is the sequel to the 2018 Halloween movie um, that you guys probably remember. And the 12th installment for the Halloween franchise. Jamie Lee Curtis is going to return as well as Anthony Michael Hall. You guys remember him as the nerd in 16 Candles, The Breakfast Club? Well, he's an adult now, and he's going to be in that movie. So, on October 23rd, the movie is called Those Who Wish Me Dead. 
This is a American neo-western thriller starring Angelina Jolie. She is back, people. Jolie plays a survival expert who's trying to solve a murder amidst a wildfire in the Montana wilderness. A lot of stuff going on there. Those Who Wish Me Dead comes out October 23rd. So a couple weeks later on November 6th, another Angelina Jolie. She's going to have a busy fall. This movie is called The Eternals. So this is set to be the 25th film for the Marvel franchise. It's starring Angelina Jolie, as I said, Kit Harington, and Kumail Nanjani. I butchered that. So the Eternals, they're an immortal alien race that are here to protect humanity after the aftermath of Avengers Endgame. Which I haven't seen, so I know nothing about. I know, I'm crazy. I haven't seen it. Not really interested in it. So on November 20th is Godzilla vs. Kong. So this is obviously an American monster film. It's a sequel to Kong Skull Island and Godzilla King of the Monsters. So it stars Millie Bobby Brown and Alexander Skarsgård. Alexander Skarsgård played the Tarzan in The Legend of Tarzan. So this is supposed to be like the ultimate monster movie, right? You have Kong versus Godzilla. Should be dope. Godzilla vs. Kong comes out November 20th. Five days later on November 25th, no Time to Die. So it's the next installment in the James Bond franchise and maybe the last one that's going to star Daniel Craig. There was a lot of speculation on if he was going to return. He is returning for this one. So unfortunately though for this movie, most of the publicity about it has been for its delay due to the coronavirus. It's the first movie of 2020 that has been delayed so far because of the coronavirus. So No Time to Die, No Time to Die, uh, tentatively scheduled for November 25th. As I said before, all these dates can change, and it's almost certainly that some of them will. It always happens. The 31st movie I noted comes out the same day as uh, the James Bond film, November 25th, and that is King Richard. So, this is a biographical movie starring Will Smith. It's actually um, centered around uh, Venus and Serena Williams, the tennis superstars, and how they became, you know, the queens of tennis after being coached by their father throughout their life, Richard Williams. Will Smith is going to play Venus and Serena's father. That comes out November 25th. All right, I got it, man. I'm excited for this movie. So, all the way into late December, December 18th, we are getting a brand new West Side Story, the classic play. This one's a new adaptation. Um, it's going to be directed by Steven Spielberg, so you know it's going to be good. It's going to have money, big budget, big production. And it's going to star Ansel Elgort, who is the, the dude in Baby Driver, and Maddie Ziegler, who I haven't heard of, but she looks great. So it's a $100 million budget, as I said, so it's going to be a big movie. You guys probably all know the story of uh, the West Side Story. It's two, teenage, two different teenagers from different ethnic backgrounds who fall in love in New York in the 1950s. That comes out December 18th. Also on December 18th, Coming to America. So this is the sequel to the original 1988 comedy with um, Eddie Murphy. He's going to return. Um, it also stars Arsenio Hall, Leslie Jones, Tracy Morgan. It's going to be a big, big movie. Coming to America, December 18th. Okay, on the 23rd, so two days before Christmas, we're getting a live action slash animated Tom and Jerry movie. So, live-action animated comedy. Naturally, it's based off of the classic cartoon. It's starring Chloe Grace Moretz and Michael Pena. So, these are the Christmas movies. So, December 25th, The Tomorrow War. This is an American military science fiction action war film. Starring Chris Pratt and J.K. Simmons. Big action movie. It kind of, when I saw it, it kind of reminded me of The Expendables, where it has just all these action stars in it. That comes out on Christmas Day. Also on Christmas Day is The Last Duel. This is a historical, a, a historical drama thriller film directed by Ridley Scott, who's done a lot of big time movies. Uh, the screenplay was actually written by Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, who write really well together. They wrote Good Will Hunting, got an Oscar for it. Um, they're also starring in it as well. So starring Ben Affleck and Matt Damon and Adam Driver. Everyone knows him from Marriage Story and Star Wars. Um, so the last one I've got here. This is uh, also on Christmas, December 25th. A movie called News of the World. This is the story about a Texan traveling across the Wild West who agrees to re help rescue a young girl who has been kidnapped. Okay. This one is produced by and starring Tom Hanks. He's going to play that Texan uh, that's traveling across the Wild West 
and agrees to help that girl who's been kidnapped. Um, it's going to be directed by Paul Greengrass, who directed all of the Bourne movies, the Bourne franchise, as well as Captain Phillips. So, it is a big year for movies, man. Um, I was born in 1992. I'm a 90s kid. The 1990s are probably my favorite decade of films. There were so many good films that were made in the 90s, and there's always seems to be like decades that stand out above all others when it's all said and done for being a good decade of movies. Like, Scott, it seems to be like every other decade. I mean, like the 50s were, the 70s were really good movies, the 90s, and then the 2010s obviously were really, really good. There were so many good movies. Um, 2020 is kicking off pretty, pretty hot. I'm excited for a lot of these films. Um, there's got to be something in there for, for you guys. I'm a little bit upset. There's nothing with Leonardo DiCaprio, which isn't surprising. He does a movie like every two or three years. So he obviously just had one come out. Leo's not going to be acting this year thus far. Um, no Brad Pitt either. Very disappointing. I'm going to have to somehow get a Brad Pitt fix elsewhere. Don't know how I'm going to do it. It's going to be tough. All right, guys. So I gave you 37 films that are coming out in 2020 that I'm looking forward to. So feel free to reference this throughout the year if you want to see when you are going to have to uh, expect that movie to come out so you can go see it. Like I said, these dates are almost certainly going to change. Not all of them, but some of them will. All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you could please like this video, I would appreciate it. Um, I'm not getting that many likes right now, which isn't a huge deal to me. I just like when I get views, but if you guys could like it, I, I would thank you personally if I could see who likes them. If you guys could also keep subscribing to my channel. My channel is going to be going through some changes, but there's not going to be any lack of content. My stuff is going to get better and better, rest assured. So make sure you subscribe so then you will know when I drop a video. If you hit that notification bell after you hit subscribe, that notification bell, you will get notified when I have a video drop so you can make sure to watch it. And this is going to be some good content. You are going to want to watch what I do next. So, please share this video as well uh, with anyone else that might like movies. Alright guys, it is time to clock out. I love you all. I hope you guys have a really, really good weekend. It looks like it's going to rain here. Hopefully, that goes away quite soon. Alright, love you guys. We'll see you very soon. Peace!